morning students so the next topic for the endocrine system disease is addison's disease so addison disease is a disease which occurs when there is a deficiency of your adrenal hormone okay it is an uncommon disorder of the body okay which occurs when the adrenal glands they produce the required hormone more than the requirement okay so the adrenal gland which is located on the kidneys above of the kidneys they produce two little cortisols and two little aldosterones okay so addison's disease occur in any age groups when in both the sexes okay but if untreated it can be life threatening okay treatment involves taking the hormones to replace those which are missing okay so the symptoms if we talk about the common symptoms for the addison disease is the weakness of the muscles you feel tired your body will get fatigued okay you will have dark skin pigmentation on your body okay you may lose your weight and there will be decreased appetite also decrease in your heart rate or blood pressure low sugar levels or you have canker sores in your mouth or cravings for the salt you need to eat anything which is salty you will feel nausea and even vomiting if we talk about the neuropsychiatric symptoms then you may feel irritability of the situations you may have depression you may feel you are having lack of energy and even sleep apnea or sleep disturbances then comes the third condition that is the addisonian crisis okay so in this condition there will be agitation or delirium in the body and you may feel hallucinations both in visual and auditory conditions so the causes for the addison disease they are as autoimmune addison disease or primary adrenal insufficiency okay so primary adrenal insufficiency is basically 7 out of 10 persons are suffering from this condition okay in which the adrenal gland they get destroyed by the own immuno cells okay that is why it is called autoimmune addison disease whereas the secondary adrenal insufficiency is different from the other one that is the primary condition okay in this condition the pituitary glands they are unable to produce adenocorticotrophic hormones that is acth and that means that they will be prompted to secrete cortisol okay the other reasons which involves are tuberculosis or the cancer of the adrenal glands or any infection which is this fear infection for the adrenal glands or even if you have gone through a surgery of adrenal gland risk factors may be cancer or if you are taking anticoagulants to thin your blood or if you are having tuberculosis you have removed any adrenal gland through surgery or the autoimmune disease or graves disease diagnosis can be made according to the blood test related to sodium potassium or acth or cortisol okay then there will be the insulin induced hypoglycemic test to check the diabetes condition and the imaging test that is ct scan and mri scan to check the cancer or tumors so treatment there are only two treatment according to the signs and symptom that is the medication and to replace the hormones which are been not available in the body that is replacement therapy so thank you